Okay, so thank you, um, Harvard and the Center for Green Buildings and Cities for hosting this great event. Um, we're happy to be here. Um, I uh, am Eric Stenberg. I'm associate professor at the uh, KTH Ro Royal Institute of Technology, where I'm based at the School of Architecture and at the Center for a Sustainable Built Environment. Um, the story that I want to uh, tell you is that Sweden has a long history of working with sustainability at different scales. Um, just a little bit over 100 years ago, Sweden was a country of farmers where only 10% lived in urbanized areas. Um, and we are, now, um, uh, we are now 100 years later um, at the, at the uh, polar opposite where 85% of the population live in urbanized areas. So we've undergone a very rapid uh, urbanization. And this is, uh, from the beginning, has been a project uh, that's been driven by political scale, where architecture and urban planning has been an instrumental part of creating a better uh, life or livability, or, or, or in, in another word, the welfare state. So um, when architects in Sweden stopped designing just monumental buildings for the rich and powerful and started designing um, public and democratic architecture, um, such as Osplund's city library from 1928, um, the political process was already underway to create a new state, um, which is the uh, social democratic welfare state with the cradle to grave perspective. Um, and this was an, um, this was an integrated um, project where all aspects of society participated and the design and the performance of the built environment was one critical aspect. And 30 years after that, um, when Vellingby as a um, first of the satellite cities was, was uh, completed, Sweden had uh, completely transformed from that rural agrarian society to a a modern and uh, global, um, or, or, or a modern city, a modern state with a global perspective. So at this time, um, many architects and planners traveled to Sweden to, to see and to understand what had been done. And the, the critical scale here is also at the, at the systems. Um, so not only the um, planning of the, of the spaces, but also planning of the systems of the city. And um, our, the first speaker from Sweden will be Karolina Kaiser, who is city architect of Stockholm. And she will be talking more about how this tradition of planning um, in Sweden has been followed up, how it's been continued. Um, 30 years after Vellingby was the beginning of Hammarby Sjöstad, which uh, is where sustainability as a word um, entered into the planning. And Hammarby Sjöstad also had a high level of integrated system, but um, became the, the, the manifestation of the um, reurbanization of the city. So the waterfronts where industries earlier had been were um, turned into uh, dense urban areas. And this, at this system scale, um, Professor uh, Alexis Pontvik, uh, Professor of Urban Design at uh, KTH, the Royal Institute of Technology, uh, will be talking a little bit further uh, in his talk. And uh, 30 years after the beginning of Hammarby Sjöstad is an unrealized uh, project, but it's part of um, Norra Djurgårdstaden, which is the most recent um, development in, in Stockholm where sustainability is, is trying to be integrated at even uh, uh, um, deeper scales, um, um, not only at the system and political level, but also at the, the building level. And this is a, a plus energy house. Um, it's an unbuilt project. Um, and we have asked uh, Sara Gran, uh, who is a partner at White Architects in Stockholm, but also professor at, at the Royal Institute, to talk more about um, the building scale and how it ties back to the urban scale. Um, the future of um, sustainability will also be coupled to the scale of technology and the component. And this is an example of uh, a project that I'm working with at KTH, is, is looking at vacuum insulation panels. So if you have mineral wool, which is uh, to, to uh, 
add insulation to existing built environment, which comprises 99% of the built environment, we have to add 15 to 20 centimeters of mineral wool, which makes moving windows um, and, and a lot of side effects and, and takes a lot of energy. Um, we now can replace it by vacuum insulation panels, one-tenth the thickness. And this will, this will um, make the whole retrofitting process more energy efficient and, and easier to complete. Um, but our major challenges uh, are with the social um, and again, to close the circle to um, the democratic scale of sustainability, how we deal with the fact that, that um, we have a great influx of, of immigrants um, and that the society um, that lives in buildings that were built for a different society will affect the um, retrofitting and changing of the existing environment. So with that short introduction to uh, 150 years of Swedish um, <laughs> sustainable planning, I would like to introduce uh, city architect of Stockholm, Karolina Kaiser.